Are you one of those people that take rejection too hard? If you are, I'm here to tell you why it shouldn't affect you so deeply. Stay tuned. My name is Cyrus Asar, and my mission is to embody the emotion of overcoming. I believe we all fight battles we hide from the world. My objective is to help you win those battles through perspective. Stay tuned. Do you take rejection too hard? I want to start off with a story. I remember picking up my younger brother. He's eight years behind me. And we would go to the park and play basketball. We played one-on-one and I would teach him all these things in life through basketball. And he used to be afraid of getting his shot blocked. He would always be afraid. So he had air ball. He'd throw up a shot air ball because all he is afraid to you know, get his shot blocked. But the objective of basketball is obviously putting the ball in a hole. So he would rather air ball badly than to get his shot blocked trying his best. So I learned through this lesson, I'm looking at him, I'm like, next time, all air balls is five push-ups. Blocks is nothing, but all air balls is five push-ups. Really what this was, was giving him the ability to overcome that fear of getting his shot blocked, re re fear of rejection. Because that's what happened. This fear of rejection happens and then it's like, oh man, it's crushing. But let me tell you why that rejection shouldn't affect you and why you should, you know, if you get rejected, it's okay. Because rejection is a reflection of you trying your hardest at something that did not work. Whether you try to approach this girl and ask her out on a date or reversal or girl approaching a guy or whatnot, asking them on a date and they say no, that's fine. Now you can go to sleep at night knowing what the answer is opposed to reflecting like, oh man, what if I would have did this or man, I should have said this and all this other type of stuff. Same thing with my brother on the basketball court. He was afraid to shoot, afraid to get his shot blocked. Therefore, he was never making anything. Never. The second that he stopped being afraid of getting rejected, he started making his shots and hitting the rim and getting close and whatnot. Now, I still block the shot a lot, but that wasn't the point. He realized that the blocks, it's okay. I can get the ball back. Same thing in life. I might ask this woman out on a date. She reject me. It's fine. Maybe she's not for me. I can find somebody else. Regardless of whatever it is, I'm using the most simplistic terms, but whatever it is, we can't allow rejection to set in so deep that it traumatizes us from pursuing something else again. Man, I remember how I felt going through that and I don't want to feel that again. Therefore, like, no, can't let something traumatize you to a point that it conquers you because you failed or because you was rejected. So you're going to try and approach a female or, or vice versa, as I said, but approaching a female in my case, and she say, no, she's not interested. Therefore, I won't try and approach women no more. Now, that sounds silly when I say it like that, but it's the same thing. If you're filling out a college application and you get rejected from that college, that don't stop you. It should not stop. You know what? I'm not going to college no more. No, no, no. You may figure out what is needed to get into that college while you were you rejected and you adjust or you just go to a different college. At too many times we let certain things set in too deep on us. We we'll let something set in so deep that it affects us for weeks and we can't take our mind off of it. For what? Why give something that much power over us because we were rejected? Or have the fear of rejection because of the last rejection. Oh, I don't want to approach that girl. She already going to say no. Or I don't want to fill this out because they already going to say no. Or, you know, that, that fear because of what happened the first time. Forget all that. It's a reset. We don't know how much time we have on this earth. Nobody knows. As you've seen in the last video, if you watched it, I lost friends. I lost family members. And they had planners. They had plans for the next day. So we don't know how long this is going to last. With that being said, accept rejection. It's okay. Shoot your shot. I think it was Wayne Gretzky. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So take it. Go with it. And accept what comes behind it. And rejection is a part of it. But that don't mean 
that the rejection is a bad thing. Because have you ever seen yourself dating somebody? And you was like, man, I wish I could be with that person. And they didn't like you. They didn't hear it. And over time, you got a chance to know that person. You was like, oh, thank God I didn't date that person. Thank God. The same thing can apply in every part of life. It'd be a reason, well, thank God I didn't go to that college. Thank God this didn't happen. So that rejection is not always a bad thing. It can be a necessary tool to fine tune which way you moving in your life. But the rejection is good because now you, you're shooting somewhere and you got denied. You're going this way, you got denied. You're going here, you got denied. But it shouldn't break you to a point now, you know what, I don't want to get rejected no more, therefore I quit. And this psyche happens to a lot of people. I've seen it happen with kids that I work with the Boys and Girls Club. They may play battle ball, they get hit, and now they're like, you know what, I'm just going to get out anyways. They get rejected or they don't get picked up on a team. And all these things happen and it affect their psyche. I'm like, it's okay. Get back out there. Try again. Get back out there. That don't mean everything is going to play out the same. We never know. We can't have these preconceived thoughts of how somebody is going to respond to us. Well, she don't like, she won't like me because I'm overweight. You don't know that. Shoot your shot. Now, I know I'm making a lot of reference to like dating, but I am saying generally speaking, you don't know. Don't create no preconceived thoughts of something not going right. And that's what we do. Because we failed a couple times, we got rejected a couple times, and therefore we turn our switch, turn it off. You know what? I'm not going to do it no more. And I'm here to tell you, you can't live like that. You cannot live like that. You cannot allow rejection to manifest to a point that now you're operating out of fear. On the behalf of something that don't even exist. We, we get so wrapped up in rejection that we will paint an imaginary scenario on a reason we should not do something. That is ridiculous. We will create an imaginary scenario on a reason we shouldn't do something. Now, how do we know that until we follow through with it and then live with the results? It's okay. It's okay. Live with the results. You can look at your life. Look at the times you did jump out the window and you went for something and it did work out. Do you remember that? The times that you did pursue something and it worked out and it could have failed. You could have got rejected. But it became you became a better person through it. So same thing happens. Keep going for those things that you believe in and don't worry about the rejection that may come with it because sometimes you can get rejected and it, ain't, it just ain't for you. It's not for you. All the way around the board. That's really what I want to say and I'm glad y'all took the time out to listen. Thank you. If, you. if you like what I'm saying, please subscribe, like, and comment. And I look forward to reading the comments as I always do and I look forward to replying. Is there something that held you back? Is there something that you went through that, I guess, or something you wanted to approach, you got rejected and it affects your psyche? It affects the way you think and now you got hindered? If so, could you share whether you email it to me or whether you reply in the comments with it? I look forward to it once again. Thank you.